for the second part of my look at the construction themed combiners I chose the cement mixer vehicle I'm not really sure why but for some reason cement mixer trucks kind of interest me so I've been a fan of Mixmaster being a part of Devastator none of these are technically Mixmaster on the left we have Mad Blender by TFC Toys. In the middle we have Mixer by Make Toys. And on the right we have a custom Mixmaster made out of Hightower from the Classics Devastator. And to get a quick idea of scale, there's a Star Wars figure. And an SH Figure Arts. All right, that's good enough for that. Um, once again, you can see they're all quite different sizes. The TFC Toys figure being by far the largest. The Classics figures were um, Scout sizes. Four Scout size figures combined with a Deluxe class torso figure. Um, let's move him aside and look at it. This was made from Hightower. He was supposed to be a crane because the Energon series combiners only consisted of two unique limb vehicles. But from somebody, I do not remember who, I got a customized Mixmaster. And I like it. It's... It's a decent enough approximation of a cement mixer. Um, I like that it's the black one rather than the green one. Again, that's what he was originally looked like, a crane. Uh, but he did a good job. <clears throat> the Energon chip still works. The claw that he comes with doesn't really have anywhere to go in vehicle mode. So that's a little bit of a loss, I guess. It doesn't really matter to me. But it does a good job looking like cement, cement mixer. The Make Toys mixer figure is really nicely detailed. You can attach one of the guns to the little tab on the side there, which looks alright, but I really wouldn't do that in practice. Um, but it's a really nicely detailed truck. I'd say a large deluxe size, especially compared to the current RID Prime stuff, which is smaller than past lines. Um, the cement mixer doesn't turn. It's not really a big deal to me personally, but at the same time, it's a little disappointing. But he's really detailed and has lots of paint apps and stickering. Make toys. Sorry. TFC Toys, Mad Blender, who has a great name. He is a nice green cement mixer. Um, he lacks a little bit of detail. He's got lots of sculpted detail, but it could use a little more paint. I do have the Repro Labels stickers coming for Mad Blender and Dr. Crank. I will get the rest of them along the way. <clears throat> but again, it's, an, it's a nice small Voyager class cement mixer. The barrel does spin quite freely. And the only, my only issue with it is one of these flip up wheels that it just doesn't really lock into place. This one's a little looser in the, or maybe I'm just not smart enough to realize that it pegs into place. And now it's quite firm. Well, so much for that. No complaints here. It's really good. Um, I kind of don't like the green barrel. It's just a whole lot of green, so... I don't know where the good place for that is. I bought the replacement purple barrel from Crazy Devi. This cost... A little bit of a silly amount of money, but 
I saw somebody's review of it on some forum I'm not a member of, and it looked really good. So I'm actually going to put it on now. This thing is a bit of a pain to take apart. There we go. I've actually been working at that for a couple of minutes. I like that the barrel is useful in the alternate mode. It has gun ports, gun things, but it really, really pegs together tightly. These pegs are quite snug. Um, in fact, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but I believe you should be able to see a little bit of a stress mark there. This peg hole is ridiculously tight. This one also has a stress mark in there. Um, I don't know, I might... I'm sure I won't because I will not want to devote that much time to it, but if it was really a big problem, I could, I don't know, sand the pegs down or something. So the way this purple barrel goes on is I have to disassemble the official the official third party uh, barrel. It's just the outer halves. It is not a complete barrel. So you're not going to be able to switch back and forth between a green barrel and a purple barrel. Um, according to the review I saw online, you could assemble one half of the barrel um, in purple and leave the other half green, but that's about the best mix you can do due to the way the, the pegs and sockets line up. You couldn't do alternating bits, but I think it's going to look better in purple. Let's see. So, you have to unscrew. Let's see if I can get my hand out of the light. You have to remove two screws here. Not terribly painful. And then you pop that piece off, and then you get to figure out which one of these it is. Looking at a short barrel piece. Looks like it might be this one. enough. I am just completely in the light there, aren't I? This is all fascinating, isn't it? Should at least be babbling about something. Um, and there you have a purple piece of barrel for Mad Blenders. Whoa, yikes. Apparently, these are not meant to go together there. As you can see, the purple tab is much larger than the slot in the green plastic. So let's do this one next. And then we will cut away and I will finish it and we can see what the full purple barrel looks like. There are numbers on these. This is f four, or probably four, and that's two. Are these similarly numbered? They are. That one was two. And that one was four. That probably means I goofed up. But it probably doesn't matter there. The same. Make sure this one will match up with that. Very nice. This add-on set, this third-party upgrade to a third-party Transformer toy, was unfortunately $25 plus shipping from TF Source. 
Um, that is the cheapest price I have seen it. In fact, there's somebody on eBay who's selling it for $40. You can get it from Crazy Devi's website. Um, they were asking $16 plus shipping, but I didn't want to hassle with trying to figure out how much shipping was from them. I believe they are not located in the U.S., so it might have been about the same anyway. And there you go. I will have a purple barrel to go with my green and purple Devastator. The color, I'm not sure how well the color shows up with my hand in the way. Let's do some direct light. Yeah, too much. They're not quite the same purple. Close enough that it wouldn't bother me, but the creative guy I work with, he would have a fit of it not being the same color. That purple is a little closer. Not that that's in any way relevant. All right, I'm going to put the rest of the barrel together and return in a moment. All right, and here we are with the purple barrel by Crazy Devi. And now I have a bunch of these useless green barrel shell pieces. I really like how the barrel just adds more purple to this truck. Granted, the G1 Mixmaster was very, very green, green barrel. I guess the animation model was usually a purple barrel. And I think it just adds more balance to the color scheme. Um, so that's that. It still spins. Um, it still disassembles into the various gun pieces in bot mode. Only now they are purple around the edges instead of black, or rather, instead of green. Um, let's put these guys back in bot mode. And take a look at the three spam mixer guys in bot mode. And here we are with bot modes. Again, the scale is immediately apparent. Um, let's throw the clone trooper in here really quick. Because everybody knows how tall stormtrooper figures are. And for people who collect Japanese toys, here's Amazing Mighty Kuga. So you have an idea of scale. Again, the Classics figure ends up by far the smallest. It was the smallest in vehicle mode. It is clearly the smallest in bot mode. Um, let's talk about it a little quick. I don't know where these custom bits came from, but I like how they make it look, especially that this thing kind of rotates and looks like it has multiple guns, like it's some sort of, I don't know, Gatlin cannon. It's cool. I really like having a little classic style Mixmaster. Uh, being that the Classics Devastator was a repaint of Energon Devastator, this is a very simple figure. Pretty simple articulation, very simple to transform. But it's it's still nice. Um, you see it's his head, it's pretty cool. It has some really great red eyes, metallic red eyes. I don't think that the, it, look, there's clear plastic behind it as though there is light piping, but I believe the eyes are painted over. Um, his purple claw, I guess you could extend it and use it as some sort of energon weapon. His hands should still be able to hold it. I don't know what you would do with this other than have it still be a claw. And I don't know why Mixmaster would have a claw, but eh, he can. So there's that. Um, the two third-party figures, though, as you notice, are about the same size now. Mixer is actually a little taller than Mad Blender in this mode, even though it was a much smaller vehicle. That's all I have to say about that. I do really like how both of these figures look. I kind of expected them to be my favorites of the bunch, and I think they're both tie with the various with the two crane figures as being my favorites. I would say I, I think I like make toys bot mode a little bit more. I like all the detail in his chest. Uh, and and he's really well articulated. He looks a little odd. He's kind of got a, a cement mixer on his back and head, and none of that is removable in any way. Um, 
which is a little bit unfortunate, but it doesn't really bother me that bad. His feet are adequate for, for handling this kind of heavy top. He's got good ankle spurs and uh, complete uh, foot articulation, ankle articulation for whatever pose you need to put him in to balance. The only problem I have with with this figure um, is, and it's kind of a theme for all of the Make Toys figures, is either the hip joint is a little loose or the thigh swivel is, and so sometimes it doesn't want to quite stay where I want to put it. Um, but it's not. None of them are terrible or anything. Interestingly, he's kind of got an ankle, sorry, a waist rocker joint. I believe it's more for the Devastator mode or the combined mode, but you can have him kind of twisting to the side if you want. His head looks really good. I like it. Um, it's kind of hard to see in there because of the top thing. But it has some good personality to it. I like the crown sort of thing he has. Um, his eyes are yellow, which is a little different. Not what I would have expected, but he looks all right. Um, his upper arm articulation is really great. Bicep swivels and double jointed elbows and lots in the shoulders. He just does not have wrist swivels. Is the only thing he's missing. And um, he has a couple of guns, or a couple of guns come with the set, but I took them to work along with the other figure from this set, and I forgot to bring them back to finish filming the review. So he will borrow some of Mad Blender's many, many extra bits there um, if he needs a gun tonight. He does have a little flip down targeting visor that you can just barely see his eyes through if you get the angle right and two missiles and some other sculpted detail um, I like him he really is a tie with with Crane as my favorite from both the Make Toys set and the the Hercules TFC Toys Hercules set the Crane and the Spent Mixers are my favorite uh, Mad Blender is also similarly similarly pretty poseable He's got really decent elbow articulation, even though it's only one. He doesn't have any wrist swivels. I'll just move you. Uh, but he's got bicep swivels and decent shoulder joints. Uh, nice, steady hips. He has both thigh swivels and calf swivels. And a double-jointed sort of a knee. And seriously, Mondo feet. Huge feet. This guy is not going to fall over. His feet are almost as wide as his backpack is, which does peg in securely back here, but I somehow never get it pegged in securely up front. Uh, this guy also has weapon ports all over him. Uh, those two look like they are, but I don't think anything fits in them. But he's got two there. These little wheel things that you can position however you want, and I don't remember what the instructions are say is the official mode but but they can be adjusted however you see fit and his mixing barrel is basically a bunch of guns four different style of guns and again my OCD kinda kicks in a little bit here and that I cannot put these in a symmet I cannot yeah attach them to him in a symmetrical manner either because all the pegs are just in the wrong places if I want them to have symmetrical shapes, then I get the wrong, I don't get matching gun tips, barrel tips. Or if I want them to have matching gun tips, the shapes are oriented the wrong way. That is a little frustrating to me, but that's just because I have some OCD issues. But when you attach them all in various places, he is... He he can look very formidable, and I do like that quite a bit. Um, there's a couple more ports up there because each one of these has a peg and a hole. You can attach them in just a multitude of locations. And also, he has this gun which can attach so it's up here and can flips up. So he's got. I I don't know what these are, but. You could probably attach them somewhere. And then he comes with this neat little 
shaped gun and of course in a red version so you can dual wield pistol things and just have tons of other armaments attached to him that one's a little tight there does seem to be some strange variance amongst the pegs and holes some pieces will fit better in one spot and just will not want to work in another spot but it's not really too hard to work around although I am clearly having trouble with this peg why is this peg not working anywhere um, this gun can also be attached on the side you could even attach another one of these to it because it has three pegs and two holes and This guy clearly likes guns and is not afraid to use as many as robot be possible. Um, he's got a nice head. I don't like how it hides in his body like that. It just feels like in bot mode it's not going to want to stay up. Um, although I haven't actually had a problem with it popping down. It just kind of makes me think it will. These guys do have great light piping kind of see it there I hope um, what else to say about oh the thing in the middle of the barrel can also be some sort of sniper rifle although the only place that giant peg fits is in his back um, but the side peg will fit in any number of places it's the same size as his hand so that can be attached there or anywhere anything fits in his hand this guy has more guns than all of the rest of the team combined and I like that a lot so that is the three cement mixer characters from TFC Toys Hercules, Make Toys Giant, and Hasbro Classics Devastator. Um, don't know what else to say about them. I love them. I do think the purple barrel adds a lot to Mad Blender, and particularly Hercules. It's going to look fantastic rather than having a completely solid green leg. It will be half purple and half green. I really like all three of these sets. I think they are worth hunting down. Um, they are all in expensive in their own way. The Classics Devastator is uh, fairly expensive to find nowadays. Not you know as bad as the third party figures. But he often runs $70 or more on eBay. But I rather like him. He, he doesn't have great hands and feet in combined mode, but we'll get there someday when I get the rest of these guys. I keep hoping that the green giant will ship soon because I don't know how I'm going to hunt down the arms for Make Toys Giant until that green set comes in. And I really am not sure when I will get the other three Hercules figures, but... I am trying hard to sell stuff, old toys that I don't need as much anymore, so that I can get the rest of them and have a big, giant devastator that will not even fit in this box. I think I have babbled on long enough. So, thank you for watching. Come back soon for a review of... The cranes. I like cranes too.